Publitics founded International Leggings Day <laughs> in 2019 to celebrate the year round styles temple during the official leggings season. But your best legging forward, I'll be put your best legging forward now. Uh, proudly wear your favorite pair and go shopping for more. Consider this your chance to break the dress code, whether it's at the office or the five-star restaurants, wherever you want to wear it to, like Chinelo and I are wearing today yeah. on Waze. I didn't even know today was a legging you day, know. but hey, we're rocking we're our leggings. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're in the spirit. <laughs> you know, so wherever you want to rock it to, just put your best legging forward. Who is a lover of legging? In fact, when I saw Chenilo's legging, I already asked her, please, where did you get it from? Because I'm going to go and shop. I like to chatter. Mm. <laughs> Not even one. one. You love leggings, leggings, right? I do. It's very to com think about it, I actually almost wore leggings today. Oh, really? But I just said, you know, it's a Tuesday, beginning of the week. Don't look too... <laughs> look serious. <laughs> look serious. So, yeah. But, yeah, but it's wear leggings to hear. Entire I'll, well, I'll pick leggings over jeans. I love jeans as well, but then I'll wear leggings. Leggings came yeah. and just make, made life easy yeah, because I jeans know. is still a bit hard. Absolutely. I like something very soft on my very soft skin. Mm, no stress. I'm not a fan. You said you're not a fan. Right. Why? Why? wears dresses all the time. Dresses yeah. and skirts. All, she's no, such skirts a lady. Not even my no, but let me tell you where she dresses. got that from. University. Mm. Yeah. Mm, true. I actually never thought of it that <laughs> way. But in uni, in uni, I used to wear trousers. I'm more of a trouser like pants. pants. That's what trouser I'm saying. Pants, pants, the university you went for, they, they cannot. You cannot wear legs. Yeah, that's true. That's true. Some of us we wear hoodlums. <laughs> <laughs> we wear, yeah, <laughs> wear hoodlums <laughs> like that. So your university actually would it shape uh, yeah. a, a good chunk of how. Yeah, you know, so no. If not for the gym, gym if not for the gym, I wouldn't wear. Mm. Yeah. Nice. All right. <laughs> Who are we starting with? Let me start with. Um, Mary, let's start with you. What's your story for tonight? Um, parents camper as diesel tanker explodes near Abuja Model School. However, no life was lost in the incident. Officers of the FCT Fire Service came to the rescue to the scene to put the fire under control. This incident occurred at about midday today and was said to be supplying a gas station in the area before the incident occurred. I mean, it's quite a sad story, but I'm happy that no life was lost. And it's nice to see that our fire service, you know, is actually working because that would have been a huge loss to, you know, the parents and stuff. So mm. we're glad about that. I'm know. very also, um, I, yeah, I say I'm very, I'm also very glad that, um, you know, sometimes when you see things like this, right, you'd expect people to go around to be scooping, you know, anything that has to do with diesel, mm -hmm. you know, you see them like, so I'm happy that really- It was put under control. Put under control quickly, mm. yeah. It's worth mentioning. All right, um, NJ. Um, mine would be the current flooding everywhere in the country, mm. you know, in, in recent times, most recent is Bielsa. And um, just last week we were, uh, you know, the videos in the news was about Kogi. So a lot of um, states at the moment have experience, you know, between Delta, Kogi, Anambra, you know, Niger, they've experienced a lot of flooding and that has gone ahead to displace more than between 1.5 to what 2.5 million uh, people you know destroyed more than it has destroyed more than 40,000 homes crops and livestock people's businesses have packed up like everywhere houses are floating like your bedroom people come into their rooms everywhere is floating your cushion is floating your business is floating and people don't even know where they're going to lay their head tomorrow farmers have you know, you can imagine farmers who have, who have borrowed money from the banks and financial institutions in order to, you know, go into business. And right now, all their properties and livestock have been destroyed. So they don't even know where to start. And part of this, um, you can blame, attribute this flooding to a whole lot of things. Some people say it's the um, Lagdo um, Reservoir the in Cameroon. Yeah. In Cameroon. Mm -hmm. And, and some other people say is due to bad drainage system within the country, bad waste management system. So there's a lot for the, con uh, for the country to ponder on within this time, because if, we, if these are the experiences people are going to be having with the current, you know, 
economical uh, situation within the country already means that times are about to get harder and harder for people mm. and it's it's it it only i don't i don't know i don't know what the hopes it's it's my heart goes out to all the people who have lost their livelihood and who don't know where to sleep and this um Right now is a call for, there's a lot of charity going on, a lot of organizations um, lending a helping hand. And this is time for we as Nigerians to actually stand up and help each other throughout this, you know, difficult situation. It's sad. Um, I'm happy you mentioned this because that's what we're talking about tomorrow. Um, uh, an investigative journalist, David Hood Hudeng, is going to be our guest tomorrow because, again, he did a, an expose on it. So it's not like the Nigerian government was not pre-informed. They were informed, and yet we still have this. Um, so it, it just tells you this insensitivity on okay. the part of government. I mean, and just today, you know, that Bayesa thing you talked about, you would now see state governors donating money to other state governments and all of that, but hey, it's not for me to judge. But <laughs> Chinelo, quickly, your story. Okay, very interesting story. Wiki mm -hmm. declares total support for someone who re-election bid. He didn't stop there. He donated 300 million naira to Lagos women. Hmm. So, um, River State Governor Yeson Wiki today declared total support for re-election bid of um, Baba Jide in the 2023 general elections. We all know that Wiki has been running battle with his political party, PDP. And now he's here to support Sonwo Ulu. So there was an event today um, hosted by the Lagos State officials' wives. And at that event, <laughs> our dearest Yeson Wiki has said that the involvement of women in politics has actually impressed him. He's also impressed by Sonwo Ulu's performance in Lagos State. And for that reason, he has decided to support Sonwo Ulu's political journey and as part of his support for the um, Lagos State Official Wives Association, he also donated the sum of 300 million naira. And so Wiki, former governor of um, Ikiti State, Ayodili Fayoshi and other dignitaries were also at the event where Wiki made this declaration as well. And Mrs. Oolu definitely described him at the event as the Pepe Dem governor. <laughs> <laughs> what a what a thing. <laughs> I can't wait for the reaction this okay, is going to well. get. Why they are donating money? Let them remember their states. People ca are crossing water to with oh, ropes to be alive. Huh. So just stay alive. Alright, so my what's in the news is actually very I found it very interesting. Um a rapper no not a not a rapper, right? A superfly actor. That's how he's been tagged. Callan Walker, he was sentenced to 50 years for rape. Now, according to the report, he usually um, would lure women in the guise of, I want to um, help you, I want to introduce you to big shots professionally, you know, because he's in the industry, yeah. they were believing them. So his targets were models. Um, most of them, they had alleged that Walker would reach out to them on social media, offering them you know, professional help and telling them that, you know, uh, he would also introduce them to big shots and he will then lure them when the victims are alone, he then sexually assaults them. The reason, and this is, I mean, like four women and three teenage girls, right, in Los Angeles had, you know, also been part of the people that had accused him for rape. The reason I'm taking this story is because I want to liken it to what is happening in Nigeria. So I want to start seeing a bit of stringent, um, what's mm. called sentences like this, right? That you do 50 years jail time. So you know that if you add your age to 50 years, right? What then happens? What is, what's left of you? You know, I suppose just giving very light measures. Now, I can't remember now what Babai Jebu's, um, Babai Jesha, rather. Jesha, Babai yeah. Jesha's um, sentence yeah. was, but I don't think he's up to 50 no, years. No, no. I think it's, it's you know, it's, the, the yes, number of years is quite, yes. quite small. You know, so um, if we start to see things like this, because rape is really prevalent, especially in this part of our, um, our world, where, I mean, if you check girls, they will tell you, hardly would you find a girl that, that wasn't somewhat molested sexually, you know, out of probably... 10 girls, I can bet you maybe about eight of them were sexually molested in some way or the other. You know, um, I was in Gabon um, um, when I went to reach out to some girls in the home that they put them. That one is so bad that even 
within the family it's almost like an unwritten law that your family member must molest mm -hmm. you so most of the girls when they are with them molested they're taken to their home so it's a big issue right rape is a big issue and i think africa is suffering the most when it comes mm -hmm. to rape because we do not even first of all understand and recognize that this thing is grave enough for this kind of large sentencing okay. so imagine if we start to have 100 years imprisonment life imprisonment for rape cases i think it would deter a lot of people you know from just trying to take mm -hmm. advantage of people yeah that's what i feel all right so on that note hmm. abike debris is our conversation today <laughs> stay with us we'll be right back